Hi folks, Thomas Henson here with thomashenson.com and today is another episode of Big Data, Big Questions. And so today's question comes in around a new course that I'm taking myself. So it's not a course that I'm writing. I've talked about, you know, some of my Pluralsight courses. This is actually a deep learning course that I'm taking with Coursera. So it's the second course that I've taken with Coursera. I did another one um, from Andrew Neen called, um, I think, uh, you know, Learning Machine Learning and just kind of, you know, went through that portion and swore I'd never take another one. And here I am again. So find out my review on that course and how I'm doing on it here in just a second. So today's question is around, you know, what I'm doing from a course perspective. So I'm taking a course called uh, Neural Networks and Deep Learning. This is actually part one in a large certification series. Um, if you go out to uh, deeplearning.ai, it's a Andrew Ning specific course. So I did his, you know, machine learning course before and kind of went through it and <laughs> did some reviews with it on um, another channel with a group of the Big Data Beard team. And so you can always, you know, check that out and find that. But I swore I'd never do another course. And here I am going through another one <laughs> because, you know, the math portion for me is a little more, a little more into the weeds than I, than I like to be and really think from a data engineering perspective, you know, it's, it probably is. But either way, my, you know, my, my thing is to do this review and give you all the insights. So you can decide if you want to take that course and find out where we are. So I'm, you know, I'm, I'm in, I'm through part one. So the neural networks and deep learning is part one in that course. So it's an Andrew Ning course. So he's like, you know, probably trained more people around machine learning and deep learning than anybody else on the planet, you know, worked at Badu, at Google, um, Stanford, and has his own company and own startup where he's kind of walking through, you know, driverless cars. So, you know, huge authoritative uh, figure who's teaching this course. So it's, you know, it's amazing from that aspect of it. A little bit overwhelming, I'll tell you, and we'll get into it a little bit. But each part of these courses are broken into, I think, four weeks. So this first one was four weeks. So we're going to go through how I felt through each of the four weeks and kind of give you my thoughts on that. So in the first week, so week one was intro to deep learning. And really, it was about the why for deep learning, right? Like, why is deep learning? What's the history of it? Is this anything new? And, you know, is this going to solve all our problems in the future? Eh, maybe. Um, <laughs> maybe, maybe, the, maybe we don't get into that as much. But this was a pretty good one. And I actually did. There's With each one of these courses, there is a Heroes in AI kind of interview session. So if you like watching YouTube videos like you do now, this is uh, sim similar to that. But it's, you know, behind the paywall or behind the course wall there in Coursera. So um, I, I actually went through that one. I did not get through all of them, but I did go through this one. I thought it was pretty good. Um, can't really remember who it was. So maybe, you know, shame on me for that. <laughs> Should have put that in my notes. But, you know, week one was pretty easy, pretty uh, pr 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 pretty easy to kind of step through and everything like that. I, I think like there might have been a quiz or something, but no programming um, aspects from that perspective. So week number two, logistic regression in neural networks. So probably my least favorite portion of the course uh, so far. So a lot of math based and somewhat of a review. So actually when I got to this portion, I was like, man, this is, you know, when I was going through the course material and watching the videos, I was like, this is kind of a review from what I did in the machine learning course. So, you know, I'm gonna ace everything here. And I did ace the quiz, so it wasn't too hard. But when we stepped into the programming, it was a little more, you know, it was a little more uh, complicated than I thought. And I have some reasons why I think that is. And I'm going to talk about those here at the end. But for the most part, week two was really kind of just a level set. Like, hey, remember, this is the cost function. This is how we use uh, linear regression. And just kind of walking through some of some of those portions to be able to say, hey, this is what's going on behind the scenes, right? Like if you've gone through, like I have, and implemented networks and played around with TensorFlow or TF Learn. You kind of already know some of the things that are going on, but you maybe you don't understand it fully. So this was a good kind of review to kind of start off to that pr perspective. So if you haven't taken like the machine learning course, no problem. You can jump right into it because like I said, he takes it, takes it from a high level here and gets you going. So week three, my favorite week 
So we talked about shallow neural networks. So this is just the basics of how to build a neural network. But what I, what I liked the most about this was like we deep dived into um, why nonlinear functions and why we use uh, different activation functions. So it was really cool because I actually taught a portion of this in my course. And um, just it was cool to see how Andrew was able to kind of explain it a whole, maybe not a whole lot better than me. I mean, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to undersell myself, but it was definitely, it was definitely awesome to be to to see kind of his background and his kind of thought process and just him saying, hey, you know, this is why we use Relu. These are some of the things that you're going to see with it, but don't worry about it because of these reasons. So really, you know, really my favorite portion um, of this course was week three. So around the shallow neural networks, uh, still, you know, still, still kind of went through and took took a little bit longer to do do the programming exercise than I thought would take me. So a <laughs> little bit, little bit of stress there. But the quizzes were good. You know, it was easy. You know, if you follow along and just you know take good notes, then you'll be able to pass the quizzes. And there's a new there's a new thing that they're trying out too called uh, notes. Um, and so I've, I've started playing around with that. I'll probably in my next video talk a little bit more about that as I'm using it more and more. And maybe that'll be a quick tip that uh, you guys can use whenever you're going through a course on uh, Coursera. So week four, not my favorite week, but it was pretty good. You know, we started getting into uh, deep learning and deep neural networks and kind of how those are, are working. So some of the things that we really did was talked about the matrix uh, dimensions and kind of how, how some of that works. Didn't get to it as much as um, they will in future courses. It's easy for me to look at it now and say that because you know I'm, 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 I've jumped ahead a little bit. From the perspective of this course, um, neural networks and deep learning part one, uh, really kind of talks through some of the matrix portions and then starts building out your deep, uh, deep networks. Also um, talks about parameters and hyperparameters. So I was familiar with hyperparameters and parameters before, just with having been hands-on before. Um, but it was you know really helpful to kind of do to those. Um, the quiz in this one, once again, if you paid attention and kind of went through it, you know there's, you have to work through some math and do some other other portions of it. But the quizzes are, are, are pretty simple, so you know make sure you're using your own notes and everything for that. Um, when it came to the programming exercises, I think there was two in this week, and they were somewhat difficult. I think the second one. Uh, was was pretty long uh, as far as building out, but you, you know you get to get hands on with TensorFlow. Still a little bit more challenging, I guess. I think, and I think there's some ways that we can make it a little bit better. Let me talk about that here just next. All right. So overall, I thought the course was um, it was all right. You know, uh, it was it, it was good for me. Uh, just kind of you know some of it was a little bit of a review. Some of it kind of went a lot deeper than than I've. Uh, kind of dove in before. So I thought that portion was was good for me. But I will say uh, uh, on all the programming exercises, they're all graded. One of the things that I find challenging and maybe it's just the way that I learn, but I feel like they're a little harder just because, you know, you you go through and it's like you're being tested, you know, day one. So like, you know, whenever you're going through the videos and everything, you're doing everything from a math perspective on, you know, on, you know, on, on paper, or if you're taking digital notes, but you're not really, you're not really doing any of the programming functions, right? So um, if you don't have a solid basics in, in, in programming, or it's not something that you do every day from, from that perspective, I think it's going to be a little more challenging. And one of the things that could help out, I think, and kind of broaden, you know, broaden for the students that are coming in would be to have more coding examples that aren't graded. So kind of, you know, like I said, it doesn't have to be like a verbatim, like, hey, this is really, really close to the to, to what the examples are. Like I get that you want to test and you want to make it so that you're applying what you're learning. But also I think a few more coding examples where you can kind of go through and see, all right, this is these are some of the steps. Because it's like if you understand the math portion of it, doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be able to go in and be able to program it right there. And um, when we talk about it from a from a real world perspective, whenever I look at it, yeah, you need to understand those things and, and and know how to implement those at a base level. But there's so many there's so many other things that can do from a high level. Like uh, for example, one of the one of the biggest challenges I had going through this was, you know, I, I built a whole course around TF Learn and being able to use that abstraction layer over over TensorFlow. So for me to kind of have having to go through step by step and kind of showing how you can do this where you know, you can write it in TF Learn or kind of use one of those functions. I think that would have been, I don't know, that would, that would be a different approach to take it. And I think that would kind of broaden the audience and make it a little more enjoyable too, right? Like, you know, if you're, if you, if, if you're having to go through and you know that writing these 60 lines of code is something that you can write in four, um, you know, it, it makes it a little bit harder, especially since 
I already just did all the math portion and, you know, kind of went, went, went through how all those activations and everything work versus having to, having to kind of go through some of the minutia on the programming. So that's just my two cents. Um, if you've taken this course, please tell me, you know, tell me your opinion, right? Like you're listening to mine. Let's make this a conversation. Like I'd love to hear what some of your thoughts are, you know, where, where, where you think I'm wrong. If you think, if you think I should be better at math, <laughs> you're probably right. But I, I think I'm getting the math, but we'll see. Yeah. And then fair enough, you know, uh, my programming skills in Python, like I said, I, you know, they're, they're, they're all right, but they're not, they're not uh, to, to the level here. So I think that's another kind of gap, you know, that I found going through this course. So all in all, um, I guess I would recommend it if you're looking into using deep learning. Um, but I don't think that if you're a data engineer that you have to go through anything like this. Like I said, it's a good aspect of it, but there's some other things and other skills that you'd probably want to get. So if you're more looking to the data science or, you know, deep learning or machine learning engineer, then going through something, one of these, you know, this course would probably be pretty good. Um, but in the next video, check out, I, I jumped way too ahead in the next, in the next course. So you might see, I jumped to, I think I jumped to the, to the fifth portion or fourth portion when I'm supposed to go to the second portion. I'll talk about that in the next video. So if you have any questions, make sure you put them in the comment section here below or reach out to me on thomashenson.com forward slash big questions. Find me on Twitter or Instagram, ask any questions. I'll try my best to answer them. And make sure you subscribe so that you never miss an episode and ring that bell. Thanks again.